Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a current subscriber, welcome if you are new. If you like tarot readings, feel free to join the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification. You'll be notified each time I do upload a video. Today we're going to do a pick a card reading of who will you marry? Who is your future spouse? Who is the romantic partner? Who is the one for you? If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address and website are listed down below. We got three groups here. The red card is group one, the yellow card is group two, and the blue card is group three. Take a moment, pause the video, see which one you're drawn to, and the timestamps will be listed down below. Hi, group one. If you chose this card, this is going to be your reading of who is your future spouse, who will you marry. I did already go ahead and shuffle the cards. I have not looked at them yet, so we're going to look at them together. So let's take a look at your first card here. It says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there's no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of love and light. So I do feel like this is going to be a connection where one of you may want this and the other one may not. You may not be on the same page when you first are dating this person, but it could be something where you evolve over time into wanting actually to get married. So let's find out who is this person. We do have the artist. It says expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses, inspiring others to see life symbolically. We have the emperor. What is this? This is the page of wands. We have the ten of cups. The strength card, it says everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. This could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. New love, a new person has st stirred your romantic feelings. You are enough, full moon in Virgo. Conclusions are within, full moon eclipse. And then we have sweetness and we have rejection. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. First, let's take a look and see what is your first impression of this person. So when you first meet this person, group one, you're gonna feel like this is somebody who is very strong, somebody who is very organized, this is somebody who is very successful, and they really do take charge. So this could be a boss or a superior of some sort. And they are somebody who's very successful. So their energy and their actual physical appearance will come across as somebody who's very strong. Their first impression of you is going to be somebody who is very happy, very optimistic, maybe you're very bubbly and very caring and affectionate. As far as the shared energy between the two of you, it is going to be a very passionate connection. You both could be around the same age. Neither one of you has been married or has children. This is a connection where both of you are going to be very inexperienced when it comes to love because neither one of you have had really long-term relationships or connections. So let's first find out where are you gonna meet this person, group one, and then we're gonna get into the details about this person and the relationship itself. Group one, where are you gonna meet this person? Okay, so you're gonna meet this person at some type of amusement park, some type of carnival or festive attraction. So you could be hanging out with family or friends, deciding to go to a local amusement park, a place that has maybe roller coasters or fun rides. This is going to be an opportunity for you to meet this person. It's going to be in an environment where there's a lot of people and there's a lot of laughs and a lot of fun. Maybe you are just coming off of a ride and this person is waiting in line and that's how the two of you actually will meet. So let's see time period wise when you might actually meet this person, group one. Okay, so for some of you, you're gonna meet this person this week. So if you're planning to go to an amusement park or some type of carnival or festival, something that has rides, this is this week, then you will meet this person. For others of you, it's gonna be in the month of April. So the springtime is very significant 
for a lot of people in the month of August. So that could be this April in 2024, 2025, or in August. So within the next year or two, those are the significant months or time periods. So spring and summer is very significant for majority of the people in this group. Now this is somebody who, they are an Aries, so they're somebody who is very ambitious and active. They are somebody who maybe is a little bit competitive too. So they could be somebody who likes to do things on the wild side and that could be why they're at the amusement park. They are somebody who likes to be a thrill seeker. So maybe there is a new ride or a new attraction that they were wanting to experience and that is why they were actually at the amusement park. But they are somebody who is very free and they don't like to be held down or held back. They are somebody that you when you meet this person, you'll be attracted to this person because of how they are, how they their energy comes across and their physical appearance comes across. They're somebody who is physically fit, somebody who's very strong, and somebody who just comes across as like almost like powerful. Even though they're not really that old, they are somebody in their energy that just comes across as somebody older than their actual age. So they could kind of have like an old soul vibe to them. Somebody who definitely does enjoy taking risks in life and being able to really go after things that they like. They could be in the military. They could also do something like investigations or something. Maybe they're going to school to be like a private investigator and they might tell you a little bit of details about that. But this is definitely somebody who is younger and does enjoy taking risks in life. And meeting you is going to be one of those risks. So as far as this person, um, what you're going to learn from them within this connection and this relationship group one, you're going to learn how to continue to recognize the sweetness that you are, the sweet person that you are and how genuine you are to really be able to nurture that within yourself. Sometimes with life experiences, things happen to people and it changes who they are. This person will always bring you back into recognizing the sweet heart that you are and this person will always help you be able to come back to that place because that's genuinely who you are as a person and this person will continue to encourage your sweet nature even though some people out there are not the most positive and are not the nicest this person will always encourage you to continue to be that sweet person and always rise above other people's bad behaviors. As far as your person and what you're, they're going to learn from you in this connection, they are going to learn that sometimes life takes them at a crossroads, that they have to make decisions that they don't like. And when they make those decisions, it makes them feel that... It, it doesn't happen for them. Like maybe they tried something and it didn't work out and then they kind of get defeated with it. And they don't really take those oppositions very easily. And that is something that is a little bit strong with your person. They're gonna need your sweetness to help them understand that sometimes when those obstacles prevent them from doing something or something happening for them, it is all actually a blessing in disguise. And that's something that you're gonna be able to teach your person to understand that when they're at those crossroads and those things don't work out, it's okay. That something else or something better was actually intended to be in that place. And that's why the two of you will work really good is your person's going to teach you how to continue to be this sweet, genuine person. And you're going to teach this person that sometimes rejection is a good thing because if it didn't happen, other things would have been prevented from happening. So, Let's take a little bit of detailed look at the actual relationship itself. How will the marriage be between the two of you? You both are fairly young and you do not have children. So let's see the marriage itself for group one. Okay, this could be your soulmate. This is a very much first love energy group one. You both will be people that do enjoy experiencing new things together. And there will be a lot of correspondence between the two of you, a lot of messages. You, especially if you meet and if your person is in the military, maybe they have to go off site or they have to go overseas for a period of time, you will communicate through email or through letters or through text messages. 
But it is a love that both of you, this will be your first love. This will be a situation where neither one of you has been in love with anyone before. And this will be the experience that you both have together. And like I said, you will feel like you are soulmates. Your person also is somebody who is very creative. So they could have some type of thing that they like to do. Maybe they like to draw like tattoos and they like to have like a sketchbook and they like to do a lot of drawing or pencil artist type things. And that is something that they like to do creatively on the side. It's not something that they do for their job or their career, but it is something that they do like to do as a hobby. It's something they're actually really good at. And they will show you like a lot of things that they have drawn and you will just be mesmerized by their talent because this person is very, very talented. Okay, so let's see some more details about the marriage itself. Okay, so there will be change. Obviously, this is going to be a slow and steady connection because you are younger and because I do feel like this person is military, so there will be some distance between the two of you in this relationship. But throughout the marriage, there will be a lot of plentiful sweetness times that you will spend together, that there will be a lot of material gain and material wealth that both of you will work on. There will also be some type of engagement ring or diamond ring. Maybe it is a family heirloom that this person will give you or something that is of significance that this person will provide to you. There's also going to be a lot of peace and harmony. It, you guys are going to go together. People are going to say you go together like peanut butter and jelly. Like it just makes sense. You're just really good together and people around you will recognize that. There will be some people and some things that you will choose to cut out of your life when you do marry this person and it is for the greater good that both of you agree on. Yep, there will be massive changes in the connection because of the distance that will happen throughout the marriage and there also could be a need for relocation. So you could relocate or your person could be relocating physically in the marriage. There's also going to be some opportunities with that relocation. Could be opportunities for a new home, opportunities for a new career. There will be a lot of advancement in this group. There's also going to be a strong spiritual tide that the two of you have. That it's going to just feel like you met when you were supposed to meet, even though you don't expect to meet the one when you're this young. And this person is going to respect and love you and... There are going to be a little bit of challenges to get this connection to be successful at times, but it is something you both truly desire and you want to have a successful relationship. So let's get some charms and some letters for group one. First, let's get some charms for group one. Okay. So there is going to be a lot of ego and pride that both of you will have. You'll both do a lot of self-reflection in this relationship and you'll be able to mirror each other. So if one person is feeling happy, the other person will emanate that. And that's something that you both will be really important to recognize. Like I said, there will be some cutting of tides of either belief systems or values or maybe even people that you guys have in your life that one or both of you will need to make some changes with the scissors you did have that in your marriage. Uh, we do have the letter A and the letter E. We do have the button, so this is going to be a very close-knit connection. This person is absolutely going to adore you. And cupcakes could be significant. It could be your favorite dessert. It could be theirs. And this is going to feel like it's out of this world type connection, that this is a connection that doesn't happen very often. It's almost feeling like, what's that movie, um, like The Notebook or something? It's almost feeling like that. Maybe that's your favorite movie. Maybe you watch that movie with this person. I don't know. It seems very significant. It keeps coming up. Let's see what letters and numbers we have for group one. O-I-X-F-O-E. And the numbers we have one, two, three, three, six. Okay, so this could be... They could be 21, 23, or 26, or you could be. We do have the month of January, February, March, or June could be significant. I do feel like this person has Aries in their chart. They could also have a little bit of Leo in their chart. So um, this is also, six is all about victory and success. So 
intuitively, I feel like both of you will know that you are the ones for each other very soon after you start getting to know each other, after you start exchanging conversations and spending more time together. I think a lot of the correspondence because of the distance is gonna have to be through text message, through emails, through DMs, things like that, but it will create a strong bond between the two of you. Okay, that is what I have for you, group one. If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address and my website are listed down below. If you made it to the end of the video, I would like to thank you. If you could please like the video, put your comment and share the video, I would appreciate it. Have a great day, bye. Hi group two, if you chose this card, this is going to be your reading of who will you marry, who is your future spouse, who is the one for you? I have pre-shuffled. I have not looked at the cards yet, so we will look at them together. So let's take a this look at this card first. It says, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So I do feel like group two, that there's going to be a lot of comfort, a lot of security that this person's going to give you. And it's going to feel like this person always knows what to say at the right time. That there is this strong comfort energy that this person is going to provide within this connection. So they're going to make you feel very safe and secure. There's also a energy of this person is also healing. So maybe they have an energy that they just are very comfortable, very easygoing, very easy to get along with. They could be somebody who maybe does healing for a living. Let's find out. Okay. Okay, so we have Samaritan. So it says, refines your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. Okay. We have the Six of Swords. Wise Counselor. Release. Travel. Your life purpose involves traveling. Builder, you emanate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Heart to heart conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Soulmate, this is your soulmate. Okay, so group two, this is your soulmate. We have luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius is significant. Confidence is your key to success. And then we have reflection and comfort and you are the only group that got two of these cards so what i feel is very significant is your person definitely does something with healing with this wise counselor card this is somebody who is either very religious or very spiritual and they use these modern day methods to be able to teach people and i do feel like they do travel maybe they are trying to build something really significant at a distance and we're going to find out here um, where you're going to meet them, but let's, let's take a look first. I want to see where you're going to meet them. And then we're going to get into the details about who they are, your first impression of each other, all that good stuff. So for group two, okay, we have casino, um, anything that has to do with maybe a casino or maybe like a um, kino parlor, something that may have some type of gambling or something on site for some of you. I'm hearing Indian reservation. Okay, so this is going to be at a crossroads. So this person could be commuting. They may stop into this place that maybe they go in there to eat and they also have like some type of casino in the environment but this person will be traveling with the bridge they're going to be at a crossroads in between where they live and where they're going is when you're actually going to meet this person so first of all when they first meet you group two they're going to see you as somebody who maybe is a little bit of a challenge so you could be somebody who puts off an energy that you're very introverted, you maybe don't make eye contact with people, you're very closed off. They see you as somebody who really is not very open and receptive, but they're gonna feel drawn to you. In group two, you're gonna feel like this person is somebody who is just 
very peaceful. The way they talk, their energy, they're just very laid back, very easygoing. Like a lot of people just talk to them. They talk to people very freely, like as if they know everybody. Like they walk into a room and they just have that personality that is just very, very open and free. This is somebody who their gifts and their purpose in life is to help other people. That is what they've always wanted to do since they were little. Maybe they've known since they were little that this is a gift they have. But this is somebody who teaches people how to transition out of difficult times. So they could, like I said, they could have something to do with, it doesn't have to be international travel, but they definitely travel around a lot. So they could be like somebody who works in like a religious setting or just a spiritual setting, but they are somebody who wants to do the greater good. So maybe they wanna teach people that don't have education. Maybe they wanna go into foreign countries and they teach them how to learn English or they travel around and they help build and they teach people how to build a home or how to you know, save money or how to get a job. The, something with this person's life work is not traditional. It is something that they take ownership over this. And this is something that this person has a strong passion and desire that they are supposed to transform as many people as they can and help as many people as they can. And that's something that you're gonna be able to learn to appreciate and value. You may get a little bit jealous at times because this person lives for their work because it is their passion, but you're gonna understand what they're doing and why they're doing it, and that will help you in time to, to be able to benefit from being married to somebody like this because this is somebody who is really special. This person has a very special gift within them that not everybody possesses, and so it's gonna feel very unique so you may actually resist even wanting to be with this person because they don't have a lot of available time. But the time they do have, they will make sure that it's quality time with you. This is somebody who will spend a lot of time talking to you when they can, building that bond and really connecting with you. And this is a connection that I, I feel, group two, that you're supposed to come together because you are soulmates. You have the soulmate card here. And this is a divine connection that you're supposed to come together because there is this mission that the two of you together are supposed to embark on this transformation, that you're supposed to be helping these other people that are less fortunate, are less in need. And that's something this person has already been doing up to the point of meeting you. And you maybe have not been doing it. So that is something this person is going to embrace you into this type of world and you're gonna feel really lucky. You're gonna feel really fortunate and you're gonna feel really confident about the situation you're in with this person. You won't even question it. Because at first when you're dating, you'll feel a little bit jealous because of the time distance and because of the physical distance. However, once you're married, then you two together will go on these journeys and these transformation travels together to experience it as one. Now, as far as what your person's gonna learn from you and what you're gonna learn from them. First, you're gonna learn how to do a little bit of self-reflection, to really look at yourself in the mirror and understand who you are as a person, and really be able to cleanse out things that have held you back in your life, things that you have stayed tied to energetically or emotionally. This person's gonna help you understand how to purify and really look within to be able to heal yourself to really let go of those things that have hurt you or disappointed you or even frustrated you in your life. And as far as your person, your person's going to get really comfortable being in love. And that's something you're gonna teach this person because they have never been married, they don't have children, but they do know a lot of people and they've never had that one special person in their life. They've never had that one person that they are comfortable enough to say that they love and that they want to spend their life with because they've made their life purpose about everyone else, not themselves. This is a very humbling person. This person has a very strong, peaceful, laid back energy. So let's get into some uh, details about the marriage itself. How is the marriage for group, group two going to be? How is the details of the marriage going to be? I'm hearing living la vida loca. 
okay. Okay, so it's gonna be a very intuitive. You're both gonna be very intuitive. You're also gonna be very playful. You're gonna have a lot of energy to play. There's gonna be a lot of fortune too. And it, you could see a lot of sevens right before you meet this person. This is a time period of transition. There's definitely a lot of travels. There's uh, definitely a lot of keys that are gonna get unlocked within this connection. And a lot of details about traveling, distance, and new life experiences that both of you will journey together. Yep, there will be an announcement fairly quickly after the two of you start dating, you will decide you want to get married. This will not be a long drawn out engagement. This is gonna be a very carefree, lighthearted marriage. You both will be on the same page with wanting the same thing. There could be some financial gain that maybe commitments from the past will bring reward in the future in this connection. There's also going to be a lot of emotional security and family is something that the two of you will value. I feel like there's a lot of family around this person, not blood related family, but people that are close to them, they consider family and they will become your family. Yeah, this is going to be a very spiritually successful connection. This is something that the both of you will feel intuitively that this is going to reap a lot of reward. There's a lot of prosperity and abundance. What else for group two? Okay, so family wishes come true. So the wishing well is significant. There could be some obstacles and challenges along the road, the path of success. And that could just be working out the logistics of the relationship. But it is something that will be successful and important. And money is something that will grow for both of you. Yep, there is going to be a lot of vacationing or it kind of feel like a vacation within this connection. It's going to feel very significant. Let's see for group two when you might possibly meet this person. For group two, when will you meet your future spouse, the one you're going to marry? Okay, so for some of you, it is in October. Could be, we're recording, I'm recording this video in the month of October. So it could be this month or it could be next October. It could be in a couple years. Let's see what else we have for time period wise. We have October within three months for others. And then this one wanted to come out. And then we have February for others. So we have three different time periods now or next October or soon in October, within three months and February. Let's get some letters and charms for group two. Okay, so the elephant is all about abundance and good luck. This is a situation where this person will observe you first and they will maybe feel like they struck out with you just for the simple fact that they're gonna take a risk and a chance, but you're not gonna be the most approachable in the situation. So you could be really busy or you could just not be paying attention, but they are gonna still try anyway, even though you're not gonna look approachable. There's gonna be a lot of abundance in this connection. And like I said, there is gonna be some cutting of tides of things that no longer serve the two of you. There could be some cord cutting of past uh, self-reflections that you do group to of things that you were tied to that you're gonna let go of. Let's get some letters and some numbers. For group two, we have I, T, S, E, O, N, so if, if some of you've already met somebody this month, it's not this person. If you're wondering if that's the person you're going to marry, it's not them. I hear Nolan, Noel, Nori. Eric, Aaron. Okay, let's look at some numbers here. We have two. You could be seeing a lot of fours. We got four, four, four. You can look up that angel number also. We have six, eight, and nine. Six, eight, nine. Could be area code. Six, eight, nine could be part of their phone number. They could be 44. They could be 46, 48, 49, 24, 26, 28, 29. 
Okay, group two, that is what I have for you. I do wanna thank you for watching this video. If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address and website are listed down below. If you could please do me a favor, like, comment, and share the video, I would appreciate it. Have a great day, bye. Hi group three, if you chose this card, this is going to be your reading of who is your future spouse, who will you marry, who is the one for you. I did pre-shuffle, I have not looked at these yet, so we will look at these in a minute. So let's take a look at this card here. It says, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. So this does feel like a very magnetic connection this feels like maybe this person will want to spend a lot of time with you and you may be the one who needs your own space. You need time away from them. So let's take a look at the details of your reading. Group three, we have the teacher. Ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, and wisdom. We have the five of wands. We have the lovers. Freedom, the wheel, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world, let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others, believe in the impossible, blue moon, and take time to breathe out, disseminating moon, and then we have energy, and love. Okay, so group three. I feel like the overall energy that the two of you are gonna have is this lover's card here. There is gonna be a strong physical attraction between the two of you. That you're both gonna to wanna to be around each other, you're gonna to wanna to always touch each other, you're gonna always have your hands on each other. There's gonna be a lot of affection, a lot of physical attention to each other that's actually what's going to draw the two of you in. So let's first see, before we get into more details, where are you gonna meet this person, group three? Where is group three going to meet their future spouse? Okay, so you're gonna meet this person at the grocery store. So you could be out getting some fresh produce, some extra bread or milk, but you're gonna meet this person at the supermarket. So when you are least expecting it, you could just be shopping free and not think anything of it. That's when you're gonna meet this person. And it actually is destiny. We have the wheel here. So this is something that is definitely going to be unexpected, but this is going to be a great positive change for you. I do feel like you could be leaving um, in the parking lot is when you actually cross paths. Maybe you're returning the cart and this person approaches you like, hey, I'll take that cart and you lock eyes and you just kind of start talking because you're both physically attracted to each other. So that is going to be your first impression of each other is that you're both very attractive and you wanna to get to know each other on an intimate level. You wanna be friends, but you also wanna to get to know each other on an intimate level. As far as this person's zodiac sign, they could be a Gemini. They could also have a little bit of fire in their chart. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody who is very smart and intelligent. Somebody who, they are somebody who has a wide range of people around them. They do like to talk a lot. They do like to socialize a lot. So they could be kind of like the life of the party of their group. They could be somebody who makes you laugh quite a bit. Maybe you'll laugh so hard that you'll like start crying. This is somebody who, they enjoy seeing other people happy and them being very comical or always cracking jokes is part of this person's personality. Now, they will also be somebody who will let you know that when they are in a relationship, they do like alone time with their partner. So they'll wanna spend a lot of close, intimate time with you because they will be very attracted to you. But when they are with their friends, they are like the center of attention. Like everybody wants to sit next to this person. Everybody wants to talk to this person because they're just a, a magnet, like a social butterfly that they just have people that flock to them very easily because of their outgoing personality and because they are just naturally funny. Now, I don't feel like this person does comedy for a living or anything like that but they should this is definitely something that is their calling but they're not doing they do something that has to do with uh, maybe teaching maybe they're a trainer of some sorts or like they maybe teach math or something 
but their job is not really doesn't really fit their personality their job seems kind of boring compared to their really wild personality and their really outspokenness so it's kind of interesting that they don't have a job that really expresses who they authentically are like people don't really know that that's what they do for a living because they don't really talk about their job they because they're so funny people are more engulfed with their jokes and their stories they don't really care what this person does for a living and you won't either but this is somebody who when you tell them what they do when they tell you what they do for a job you're gonna be like really that doesn't seem like you at all with your personality but it is because their job is something that's just a little more reserved than who they truly are so as far as what you're gonna learn from them what they're gonna learn from you group three this person is gonna teach you how to really have more passion and a lot more romance in your life so if you are somebody who is not a active um, person on the physical level meaning behind the scenes behind the bedroom this person's gonna increase the energy within you they're gonna spark something within you that's gonna feel very explosive and they're gonna teach you how to be more energized when it comes to those type of activities together because this is somebody who has a very high drive in that department as far as what you're gonna teach this person, you're gonna teach this person how to love, how to actually let you in and to be sweet and to really just be in love because this is somebody who, they joke so much, they don't really take anything seriously, but they're gonna take you seriously because this is definitely fated for the two of you to cross paths and this is a connection that it happens because of the physical attraction, but it's just going to make sense in time. When the two of you are together, you kind of just fit. You know, this person could be very outspoken and you could be a little more reserved. You could be very different from each other, but it just works. And so this person, you're going to teach this person what love really is and how to feel love and how to receive love and how to really value it when someone else gives it to you that they don't necessarily just have to love themselves that they can allow someone else to love them too every part of them the good or the bad so let's take a look and see the relationship itself what are going to be the details of the marriage for group three what details can we find out about the actual marriage or the relationship for group three Okay, so we do have the owl, which is all about observation. And there's the romantic, very sexy, attractive partner. So it's the, this is going to be a very hot connection, group three. I hope you're ready. If not, you better rest up and recoup because this person is bringing the intensity into this connection. This is, this is a connection where you both are going to want to be together um, physically. And when you're not behind the scenes together, you're going to be touching each other all the time, giving each other hugs, kisses, just wanting to be close. Spiritual development. So both of you will have some type of spiritual awakening. Like I said, the sparks are gonna fly in this connection, but you're gonna feel like it just makes sense. Yes, there is definitely going to be a different role that you will play. You will turn into the wife or the husband in this relationship. You could change jobs. You could also encourage your future partner, your future spouse to do something with comedy because that's such a strong thing that they're naturally good at. So they could possibly decide that they want to do something else. There is also going to be a lot of time of going out and having fun, lots of laughs. There will be um, some bridges that will get burned when the two of you do come together because maybe exes or family don't want to see the two of you together. But it is going to be something that both of you decide this is a connection you both desire and you want. You won't care what anyone else will think. There, this person will compliment you quite a bit. They will admire you also. This is going to be a very intuitive connection. The two of you go together very well that you will be able to feel like this is a unique situation and that you both can intuitively feel what the other person is thinking or feeling. It's good. You're going to feel very in sync with this person, almost like a soulmate tied. Yep, there's going to be a lot of new experiences that you will experience together when you are married, stepping into something. You're also going to feel very lucky. You could see a four-leaf clover right before you meet this person. 
And then there is some vacationing that will happen, a lot of growth and abundance. And then we also have the dog card, which is all about getting together with friends. So friends and huge social network is important to this person. And you will kind of immerse into that life with this person. And you may already have a huge network of friends also, but it will be really important for you guys to have that unit together. So let's get some charms and some letters. Actually, let's do time period. I forgot to do time period for group three. Let's see, when are you gonna meet this person? Most important time, when are you going to meet this person? Group three. Okay, for some of you, it's sooner than expected. The rocket ship is like, it's gonna take off really soon. Okay, for others of you, it's gonna be in the autumn time. And then one more. And for some of you, it's gonna be in the summertime. So we do have autumn, summer, and some of you, it's gonna be sooner than autumn or summer. And we're coming out of summer, we're in fall right now when this video is being recorded. Keep in mind, these are timeless readings, so you do not have to go by this summer. It could be next summer. It could be in two years. All right, let's get some letters and some charms for group three. Okay, so there's going to be lots of drinks, lots of celebrating. This is somebody who does have their heart a little bit closed off, but you're going to open it right up. Running could be significant. You guys could like to run together. You could turn into a running couple that does like to do that together. It is something that is very sweet. There is going to be a lot of bouquets. This person may like to give you a lot of flowers. We also have the balloons, so that's all about playful energy, enjoying good times, having new beginnings. It's just a really lighthearted energy. Let's get some letters and some numbers. L, R, A, I'm hearing Laura, Larry, Ray, Larray, E, T, G, E, A, Abs, Abe, Abby, Okay, we have two, six, and five. So 26, 25, 62, 65 could be the year they're born, could be age, could be a month. Two, six, and five are definitely significant. Could be um, part of their phone number. Okay, group three, that is what I have for you. If you could please like the video, comment, and share it, I would appreciate it. If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address and my website are listed down below. Have a good day. Bye.